They got guilty pleas from these guys for crimes like fraud, manipulation, bribery, money laundering, tax evasion. And this is a description of HSB's crimes from Eric Holder's Justice Department. Quote, as a result of HSBC Bank's USA AML failures, at least $881 million in drug trafficking proceeds, including the proceeds of drug trafficking by the Sinaloa cartel in Mexico, were laundered through HSBC Bank USA. That's what Eric Holder's Justice Department said. $881 million in drug trafficking money laundered by HSBC. And he says, you might remember, this is Matt Tiabi saying, you might remember the Sinaloa cartel had ISIS style torture videos, but HSBC laundered their cash. They even created, listen to this, they even created, HSBC, created a special teller window to make sure that the Sinaloa cartel's deposits were made easier. You hear that? They got their own special teller window. The people who were making ISIS-like torture videos, this drug cartel, they were laundering their money and had a special teller window for them. This is, he said, admitted. It is not alleged. This is not a conspiracy theory, okay? This is criminal activity of the highest order that Eric Holder let go for his former, now current, clients, okay? And I would argue they were his clients all along. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Welcome back to the InfoWars Nightly News. Now, not content with browbeating society into accepting obesity as a new social justice cause, feminists are now blaming the patriarchy for the way they smell. Take a look at what Stephen Crowder discovered when he went to a radical feminist meetup. <laughs> Top story up on InfoWars.com today. Secretary of State Kerry warns US and Russia may clash in Syria. This is an article by Kurt Nimmo. On Wednesday, the US Secretary of State John Kerry said Russian support for the government of Bashar al-Assad and its targeting of the Islamic State in Syria may lead to confrontation between the United States and Russia. These actions could provoke a further escalation of the conflict and lead to the loss of more innocent lives, Kerry said. Then a few days ago, we had another article out of the AP where they reported Russia's military backing for the Syrian regime only risks sending more extremists to the war-torn country and could further hamper any efforts at bringing peace. So let me get this straight. China's sending ships to help defeat ISIS in Syria. Russia sent 28 fighter jets. Russia is sending thousands of troops. They're sending tanks. Russia and China are actually trying to defeat 
ISIS. They're trying to kill jihadists while Kerry is lecturing Russia and while the US is arming jihadists, which leads us on to this RT article headline, US trained Syrian rebels with weapons end up in hands of Nusra jihadists. Around 70 US trained Syrian rebel fighters allegedly surrendered a weapons stockpile to the extremist Jabhat al-Nusra group after crossing the Turkish border. Then as we've reported before, not only the FSA rebels, but the Jabhat al-Nusra jihadists go on to defect and join ISIS. So the Obama White House is lecturing Russia for killing ISIS jihadists while they arm jihadists who go on to join ISIS. Whose side are they on? And why do ISIS keep getting these bizarre heads up before US bombing raids? Why do we consistently see these articles about them conveniently finding caches of US weapons? The Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov came out on Sunday and basically said that ISIS militants in these key regions of Syria are getting warnings before these major bombing runs by US warplanes. So Russia is fighting ISIS. They're sending troops in to fight ISIS. China is now reportedly sending a warship. And yet Kerry is lecturing Russia about their actions leading to an increase in jihadists when every single action that the Obama White House has took, including arming jihadist rebels that go on to join ISIS, has caused more extremists to flood the region. So again, this entire Syrian civil war from the very beginning was provocateured by the US and its allies in the region directly as a result of arming these jihadists in the first place who went on to transfer their weapons and their loyalty, their allegiance to al-Nusra al-Qaeda affiliates as well as ISIS itself. And yet now Russia is taking the blame when they're actually trying to fight ISIS and trying to actually get the job done while Obama sits idly by. So again, it's the height of hypocrisy. That's going to wrap it up for the InfoWars Nightly News. You can check out my channel, which is Prison Planet Live, a lot of exclusive reports, as well as the Alex Jones channel, InfoWars.com, for all the latest breaking news. That has been the InfoWars Nightly News. Check out the radio show 11 to 2 tomorrow. And I'll be back hosting the fourth hour overdrive of the Alex Jones show next week. So that wraps it up for InfoWars Nightly News. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced, and it just synergistically puts everything in there. Visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com, or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.